Let us pray for the whole Church of God in Christ Jesus and for all people according to their needs. We give thanks for the Christ who shed his blood for the forgiveness of our sins, for joy and gladness in the revelation of his truth and the abundance of his grace. We pray for the church gathered and sanctified in God's truth, for Matthew, our synod president, Derek, our bishop, and Neil, our pastor. We pray for all vacant congregations and for your flock at the Lutheran Church of the Good Shepherd in Brooklyn. Grant all your churches strength and peace that they may serve their communities in these challenging times. Take from us, Lord, the coronavirus and return us to our former lives of togetherness in community. Heal those who are suffering. Amanda Porter, the Sauer family, Loretta, Jim, Cassie, and Amanda. Dennis Schmidler, Owen's dad, battling COVID and a number of other very serious problems. Karen Lamardo's friend, Hillary, and Bill and Don George, Ellie Heschel's brothers. We ask your blessings on all families, that Christ would be present in their homes and lives with his free and abundant forgiveness to preserve us in the true faith from each generation to the next. We pray for all who are sick or in any need, especially Joyce Fouth's brother, Ed, for strength and intensive care as he faces multiple health problems. Meredith Wankel's father, Walter Lindenman, who is entering hospice care, and we pray for Ellen, his wife. Brian Whalen's father, Harold, all who mourn the passing of Vera Yackel, longtime St. James member, usher, and Janet Sabinski's mother, and all those we now name before you, aloud in voice or in the silence of our hearts. May we walk before you in purity and holiness, put all our trust in you, and lead such lives on earth that in the world to come, we may have everlasting life. And we pray for peace in our time, O Lord, that your children would resort not to violence, but seek to understand and to love each other. And hear us, gracious Lord, as we pray as you have taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.